Hi, in this video, we're going to write this as a single trigonometric function. We have cosine theta plus the tangent of theta times the sine of theta. Let's go ahead and try to work through it. Solution. So to do this, the natural thing to try is maybe start by writing tangent in terms of sine over cosine. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start by doing that. So we have cosine theta plus and then tangent is sine theta over cosine theta. And this is times sine theta. And this is, this is equal to this. So technically, you know, if you want to be a little bit better, you would write this first, and then you would write an equal sign and write this. All right, let's see what's going on here. So this is equal to the cosine of theta plus and then sine times sine is cosine, right? Because you can think of this as a fraction over one. So you're allowed to multiply here. So we'll get sine squared of theta over cosine theta. And it might not be clear what to do next, but we don't really have much of a choice. Really, the only thing we can do here maybe is just add these. So in order to add these, we need a common denominator. And this is really over one. So what we can do is we can multiply this by cosine theta over cosine theta. This is just multiplying by one in a clever way. And this is plus sine squared theta over cosine theta. Very nice. And so let's keep going. Now this is equal to cosine times cosine is cosine squared. We have cosine squared theta over, and then here we have cosine theta, plus, and then we have sine squared theta over, and then here we have cosine theta. Okay, so now what we can do is we can add these, right? These are both fractions over cosine, so we can just add straight across in the numerators. So this will be cosine squared of theta plus sine squared theta, and it's all being divided by cosine theta. And cosine squared plus sine squared is a familiar identity. It's equal to one. So this is equal to one over cosine theta. And one over cosine is just the secant function. So this is the secant of theta. So it was a really simple looking problem, but it did take a little bit of work to do. And again, when you first see a problem like this, I mean, the only thing you can really do, at least that I can think of at the moment right now, is writing tangent as sine over cosine, and then just going from there. You multiply here, and then when you get here, there's not much you can do except add. So to perform the addition, we multiplied by one in a really clever way, right? It's cosine over cosine. And then you end up with cosine squared over cosine plus sine squared over cosine. So then you have a common denominator, so you can add these fractions. And then cosine squared plus sine squared is one. So you get one over cosine and that's the same as secant. So yeah, I hope this video has been helpful to someone in the world. Good luck.